大家好, thanks for joining us for another episode of Growing Up with Chinese, 成长汉语. Our show is designed to help all of you learn some basic Chinese through the adventures of Xiaoming, a local Beijing high school student, and Mike, an exchange student who is living with Xiaoming. And apart from language study, our show aims to introduce various aspects of Chinese culture, history, and everyday life to those of you who might not be otherwise familiar with China. So I mentioned last time that we would continue our discussion of weather today. And I have good news to report. The sun is still shining on me where I am in Beijing. And seeing as the weekend hasn't yet arrived for Xiaoming, Mike, and Lan Lan, I think the sun is still shining on them as well. Let's check in with them and see what's going on.你干嘛呢？我，哎，兰兰，我在担心明天的天气。天气预报说局部地区有下雨，要是明天下雨，我们还去不去天坛？哎呀，麦克，你担心什么？如果明天下雨，我们就星期天再去呗。不行，我星期
也很有趣吗？放心吧 ，Mike， 要是下雨也没关系。雨中游天坛也很有趣吗 ？Don't worry, Mike. Even if it rains tomorrow, it doesn't matter. Visiting the Temple of Heaven in the rain can also be fun and interesting. 放心 literally means to put your heart down. Don't worry. 要是 means if. 有趣 refers to something that is fun and interesting or engaging. 放心吧 ，Mac. 要是下雨也没关系。雨中游天坛也很有趣吗？有趣是很有趣，只是没有办法照相了。Fun it will be. It's just that we won't be able to take any pictures. 没办法 is a great phrase. It means no way or won't be able to. 照相 means to take pictures or photographs. 没办法照相 won't be able to take pictures or there will be no way to take pictures. I don't know if I agree with Xiaoming on that point. Pictures in the rain can be really cool. Especially when you're somewhere as beautiful as the Temple of Heaven. All right, shall we watch the clip again? Mac, you 干嘛呢？我，哎，兰兰，我在担心明天的天气。天气预报说，局部地区有下雨。要是明天下雨，我们还去不去天坛？哎呀，麦克，你担心什么？如果明天下雨，我们就星期天再去呗。不行，我星期天要上中文课。那我们下周就去。还是这周去吧，我早就想去了。就是就是，什么下周？人家麦克都说这周了。哼，我看最想去玩的人是你吧。我看今天天气这么好，明天不一定会下雨。放心吧 ，Mac， 要是下雨也没关系，雨中游天坛也很有趣嘛。有趣倒是很有趣，只是没办法照相了。Up today's coverage of our dialogue. So now let's get into some more specifics. As always, let's first take a look at our vocabulary, and then we'll move on to today's radical. 担心 worry, feel anxious, fear. 担心下雨 to rain. 下雨游 In today's context, 游 means stroll about, tour, travel. 游有趣 interesting, amusing, fascinating, absorbing. 有趣照相 take a picture or a photo. To photograph, 照相 Our radical for the day has to do with fire. Now, "hu" on its own can be a radical. Let me pull that up just so you can put it in context. This is "hu," and the character that might use the fire radical could be "dong," which means lantern. Now, there's a variation of the fire radical, though, and that is the four dots of fire, which we see in "zhao" of "zhao xiang" photograph. So let's look at Zhao. One, two, three, four. Four dots of fire. Now Zhao on its own means to shine on, like how the sun shines on us. Now this component over here, Zhao, means clear, and down here we have our four dots of fire. Now if a fire illuminates an object, it becomes clear, right? Pretty cool. Now here's some more characters that have the four dots of fire radical. Ru, hot. Shu, ripe, cooked. Zhu, boil or cook.
we still have yet to find out if our fabulous trio makes it to the Temple of Heaven or not. So I thought to myself, why wait? We've certainly mentioned it enough. It's time for a Temple of Heaven Spotlight. Okay, while the Temple of Heaven is now a UNESCO World Heritage Site and a popular tourist destination, back in the day, and we're talking like 15th century, it was a holy place where emperors would go to make sacrifices to heaven and pray for good harvests and favorable weather. In ancient Chinese philosophy, the emperor was thought to be the son of heaven. As a direct descendant and representative of the authority of heaven, it was very important that the emperor show proper respect to heaven. Remember talking about the notion of filial piety in Chinese culture? Well, even the son of heaven had someone he or she needed to respect and be filial towards. And so, the Temple of Heaven was the emperor's place to go to honor, worship, and acknowledge heaven. The Temple of Heaven was first constructed in the 15th century during Emperor Yongle's reign. Now, Emperor Yongle was also the one to build the Forbidden City, the Chinese Emperor's Palace. Over the years, under the rule of different emperors, the Temple of Heaven grew into the park, temple complex that we see today. Okay everyone, it's time to take a look at some of the language points that came up today. Yao shi, if. Yao shi is equivalent to ru guo. Now, a common language pattern you will hear in spoken Chinese is yao shi something de hua. But you don't have to use this pattern if you don't want to. You could say, 要是你有时间的话, If you have some time, then we can go out and play. It's the same as saying, 要是你有时间, Let's look at some examples. 要是香蕉不贵, 你就买两斤回来。没问题。要是你五点前放学的话,就先去兰兰家。好的,知道了。我看, in my opinion. Now this always comes at the beginning of a sentence, much like in English. We wouldn't usually say, it's going to rain tomorrow, in my opinion. We would say, in my opinion, it's going to rain tomorrow. 我看中文不难学。In my opinion, Chinese isn't hard to learn. 我看明天一定是晴天，是吗？可是天气预报说明天有阵雨。他是哪国人？我看他是个法国人。不一定，not necessarily. 不一定 implies that the outcome of something isn't clear or set in stone. Not necessarily. 中文不一定好学。Chinese isn't necessarily easy to learn. Lots of practice is a must. Xiaoming, you mean can you shi jamma? Bu yi ding. Nyo sherma. Shu jia ni hui hui guoma? Bu yi ding. Kanon hui chu, ye kanon bu hui chu. 好了,你们可以出去玩了。Okay, everyone, you can all go out now and have some fun. We run out of time for today's show. After all that discussion of the Temple of Heaven, I think I'll use the rest of my day to go walk around the park that surrounds it and soak up some sunshine. Vitamin D is very important for everyone's health, and taking in some beautiful scenery never hurts either. Now, don't forget to visit our website if you need to review, and please leave us some comments while you're there. I'll see you all next time. 大家加油! 下次见! Bye for now.